So it's Ron back here at uh, Ron's, uh, Ron Brown's YouTube channel here where we cover uh, drones, uh, GoPro, you know, various tech gear, cameras and so on. But, you know, today we're back with a, a, another drone video. We're back with the uh, the DJI Mini 3 Pro. In fact, uh, I may just rename this uh, channel Ron's uh, Mini 3 channel since I'm doing so much content on it. But uh, seriously, folks, we'll get back to other content soon. But it's just so much stuff to learn about this new, new drone from DJI, this new uh, kind of flagship, uh, you know, mini drone from them. And... Uh, we, we got a, um, a app update and a firmware update for the Mini 3 last week. Today is Sunday, the um, 19th of June, and I'll put the numbers below of the, of the firmware update and, and, and the app update. But anyhow, um, we already did a video where we kind of covered uh, how, you know, the update and how to do everything. Uh, but uh, in taking a deeper dive into the new firmware, there's some kind of discoveries we have made in the uh in in the fly app in the control paddles so in this video i'm going to show you how to uh, kind of unlock some uh functionality that we didn't know was there at first so uh you know sit back uh you know grab a grab a cold beverage and maybe a little snack and we'll be right back we're going to do a, a screen recording uh, uh because i could show you the screen here but it'll look much better if i do a screen recording and, and insert here so of course you can see we have the you know drone turned on we got the fpv feed going here so what we're going to do we're going to go over here and you just kind of pull down from the top and you've, you've got this um you know you get this i'm going to call it menu screen here and you do a screen recording by um going over and choosing uh record screen right here um and you can tell us no it to connect to the connected. internet here Please check it on the map. look at this satellites is so good here we got we could fly inside here so we're going to start a screen recording up here recording <laughs> right now and um you can see it uh, you know running down here so uh what i want to show you here today is one of the things that uh, you know i've discovered in this already is uh you can go up here to the uh, the three dots here again we'll maybe do a side by side screen recording here so side by side so okay uh you know you have uh, your usual um uh things here i don't think anything was in this i wanted to show you but oops one thing so you want to make sure is this uh disable sideways slight lots of times i find that turned on by default and uh, that's good if you're doing uh you know, you got obstacle avoidance and maybe you're doing the bypass or, you know, you don't want it to, you know, go left, right. You just want it to go straight to bypass things. I, I don't know. But anyhow, uh, <laughs> lots of times on, I, and I can't figure out why I can't fly sideways. So remember that disable sideways slight button said I, somehow, sometimes it gets enabled. I don't want it enabled. Okay. So uh, when you're down to here, you want to go to button customization. And before this was, you didn't have all these options before. So now you can use the C1 and C2 button that are on the back there, which you always could before. So you have a various, you know, things here you can do. You can, um, you know, control, um, you know, uh, remote, uh, recenter, tilt, gimbal is kind of the uh, de facto one here, but you can also go uh, foul, FPV, and uh, you can also make it hyperlapse, cruise control, which is very useful if you're doing hyperlapses, which we will uh, talk about more in uh, another video when we do hyperlapse. So for right now, we're just going to put it on back on recenter. So, and you also had that camera option over there, which, uh, you know, you can do things camera related, like you can uh, auto, all, you know, auto, focus, lo auto lock on and off, which is useful, increase EV and decrease EV, which I find very useful. Also, you can go to the general camera settings, or you could change it from portlet, portlet, yeah, sorry, portrait and landscape mode switch, which of course enables the TikTok style video on the control. That button's on the kind of the main screen too, so that's an easy one to get to. But the increase EV and decrease EV is kind of hard to get to. You have to go down to you. Well, you can do it in pro or auto settings. So. Uh, and then you go over here and other and nothing's there and other yet so maybe they will add something on there uh, eventually so um so yeah that 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 thing is new we did not have the you know the separated things on the c1 button like that before so um let's uh 
tap down there. Then of course you have the C2 button, which has the same thing, it has different things for camera. Uh, it actually looks like the same exact things they had for one. It used to be you could only do some things on on C1 and some things on C2, but it looks like they've kind of gave you uh, better options there. So okay, so that's you know that's that's nice. You know that's a little bit changed. And here is uh, the right dial. So that would be the one over here. Uh, you can see this is the uh, normally this is you're zooming out, which is it's set here for zooming out. But if you want to apply it to something else, say you're not doing zoom, say you're in 4K 60 and you have no zoom capabilities in, in uh, 4K 60, you could use it to adjust focal length, which um, I'm not sure what that means since this doesn't have an adjustable aperture, but uh, it is there. And you could adjust EV, which you know that could be. Um, very useful and you can adjust the aperture speed which is very very useful so uh and there's adjust iso too so i'm going to put it back to zoom in out for now but as i said before if you're filming in a mode like 4k 60 where you do not have the ability to zoom you can change that to something again like maybe the um shutter speed or something uh, uh useful so this is a nice little uh, addition to this um you know the custom settings here and then of course you have uh, uh down here where you have um the option to um hit a button and the right dial at the same time so uh you you can hit the c1 and uh, the right and the right dial and that could be something else again too um so you can keep it in um well let's see what the other other is nothing it's never anything over over other so that must be something else that they're going to add on some point or, or or another sorry for saying nothing too much but yeah they gave you an option to see one and right dial so and you have kind of the same options over here and of course you had the same thing uh over here custom two and and right dial so um yeah i, I guess you know you could have you can just keep that up in the, you know, like as you want your zoom button, but you can add these later on. So, um, you know, even when you are using uh, something like 4K30, where you do have uh, the capability to zoom and uh, using this wheel over here, you also can, you know, have it have two other functions by using these custom buttons. So to me, that is a very big win. And uh, like, I'm definitely going to... Um, you know keep this one here it's the default to just shutter uh, uh button and that is a very useful uh one here another one have they just iso which um you know i mostly try to keep my iso at 100 unless i'm doing some kind of a night thing so i may change that out to something else like um you know um maybe adjust ev yeah i'm going to change that out to adjust ev so um you know, I don't have to go down in the, uh, like the, the pro settings. I think you could do EV in the auto settings too. So now that is, you know, I, I really like this a lot. So I got to remember that the, the C1 button is uh, this one over here. So C1 and this are going to be, uh, let me show you now on the screen recording. So I hold that down and then I can adjust the, uh, the shutter here. You can't see that on the screen. I guess unless I go into pro mode and then, um, uh, yeah, you can see how I'm adjusting the shutter. 120, 160, 200. So I got to go down and get more light in here. So there we go down to 130. So that's very useful there. Um, very, very useful. And I set the other one to the EV. So you see the the shutter was, um, you know, on my finger. You can see it right there. The second thing over from the, well, we'll say the right there. But, okay, the bottom corner there, bottom right-hand corner is the, e, is the EV. So I set that for the you know the, the oops the c2 so i have to hold hold that in and then okay uh, it has to be c1 c1 and now i'm changing the um the exposure value so now this is this is really nice in flight here not to have to tap around in there to do it during a, during a flight so this this is big folks this is this is real big so um Let's see here. And that's that's the end. So I had the uh, C1 to C2. So it's a matter of learning learning which button does what there. So um, no, uh, this I like this upgrade a lot down there. So thank uh, thank you DJI for you know putting that in the uh, thing. If you mess your settings, I'd be going to hit the reset button to get them back to factory settings. So one more time, that's under control, and you have to kind of scroll almost near the bottom 
to uh, define button customization there. So um, yeah, I didn't see any anything else down there that could you know advanced. Um, that, that was the same too. So I, I searched around. That's the you know that's the only thing I've really found so uh, uh, you know so far with that. So um, yeah. So okay, um, that's going to end this short uh, tutorial on the, uh, the button cups customization feature that they added to um, you the, the Mini uh, 3 in the latest uh, firmware update. So, okay, folks, um, thanks for uh, joining me for this short tutorial, and uh, we will see you on the next video.